In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Childlike Faith Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 18, verse 3 Jesus is your best friend. Live by daily faith on the Son of God, that your course of action be such that God can approve. Then you will be a blessing to others. Do not outgrow the simple faith and trust of your childhood. When sick, your first request was, Father, Mother, pray that the Lord will heal me and forgive my sins. When prayer was offered in your behalf, you made your simple prayer and thanked the Lord that He had heard and answered, and with perfect faith and confidence you said, I shall get well, the Lord has blessed me. You slept in perfect peace and confidence that holy angels would guard your bed. Be a child again. Cast all your burdens and sorrows on Him who alone can give rest to the weary heart and peace to the troubled soul. If you would learn anew the precious secret of happiness in this life and how you may attain the future immortal life, be assured you must again be a child in trust, in obedience, in love. If you only do your duty bravely, yet cheerfully, as a happy child of God, you will reflect rays of sunshine upon others. I charge you, as one who knows, look up to God with the simple faith you had in your childhood and say, Father, I am weary, give me rest. Unite my ignorance to thy wisdom, my weakness to thy strength, my frailty to thy enduring might. Shield me with thy protecting hand in life's conflicts. Save me from the vigilant foe who haunts my steps. Then believe, my son, and you will realize even more than you expected. Our only safety now is to live a life of faith and good works. Your Heavenly Father knows your every trial. He is acquainted with all your infirmities. He will be to you an ever-present help in time of need, and He will withhold no good thing from them that fear and love Him. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Our compassionate Savior will never be indifferent to any pain or sorrow or grief His children suffer. All that you lose and all that you gain, prosperity and adversity, let it make you more like Jesus, the divine pattern. Your happiness will be secured in preserving your childlike trust, cherishing always the beauty and loveliness of a meek and quiet spirit.